Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at generators in ES6. So generators are basically functions that can be paused and then resumed as many times as we'd like. And it can, at each pause, it can yield a value back, okay, much like it would return, except it's just paused. You could resume it, then you could re yield another value back. So let's take a look at this, okay. So to create a generator, it's very similar to creating a function, let's say G1. Now, the way that we can turn this into a generator is by putting an asterisk character right here. And you can actually do that, or you could put it here. I prefer this method, but uh, of course it's just preference. Now, what I want to do is let's go ahead and console.log, and we'll say, um, I don't know, we'll say hello. And then what we'll do is yield. Okay, we'll say yield. We'll say yield one ran. All right, and then we'll go back and we'll say console.log and we'll put in world. And then we'll do yield. yield to ran. Okay, so down here, if I just go ahead and say G1 and try to run that, we get nothing. All right, what we need to do is set this generator to a variable. So we'll say var uh, G equals G1. Okay, and then we what we want to do is use it, we can say console.log and we want to say uh, g dot next. Okay, let's see what that gives us. Actually, I'm sorry, we need parentheses. Okay, so it gives us hello because we're console logging it. And then this is what it's yielding. Okay, it's yielding an object with two elements. We have a value, which is whatever we put in the quotes. And then we also have done, which is a Boolean. It's either going to be true or false. So since this is the first yield, uh, it's not done. Okay, done is going to be false. Now, if we want to return just the value, of course, we can just say dot value. And if we reload, then we just get whatever the text is that we yielded. All right, now for it to resume, because right now it's paused in this spot, for it to resume, we need to do this again. Okay, we'll paste this in. I'm going to get rid of the value first. And let's go ahead and reload. And now we get value, which is yield to ran. And we still get done as false. All right, even though we're at the end here, we're still getting false. So what we need to do in order for it not to be false is we need to return something. Uh, we'll just say returned. All right, if we save it and reload, we're going to get the same thing. It's still not false. We have to actually do it one more time for it to be done. Reload. And now you can see it actually gives us the returned value. And it also sets done to true. All right. And of course, we can just put the values here if we want. Okay, so there we go. We're we're returning multiple values from one function. Now, not only can we do this, but we can also use this as an iterator and we can use a for of loop. So for instance, let's do, uh, we'll just say for, and then we're going to put in here, um, we'll say let g of gen. All right, actually, let's say let G of, oh, I'm sorry, we want to say let val or whatever you want to call it of G. Okay, this variable should be the second value here or the second element. And then in here, let's do console.log and let's log val. Okay, so you can see now it's giving us hello, yield one ran, world, yield two ran. OK, 
Okay, it's not going to give us the return value if we're using a, a for of loop. Now, there's other, obviously other things you can do with generators and iterators, but I'm not going to get into that now. This is kind of an introduction to, uh, to ES6. So that's going to be it for now, and I'll see you next time.